I'm just waiting for her to start. She's lying like proper sleeping, so I'm surprised. It's normally she snores. It's hilarious. Hello, Mary. Hope you're joining in. Uh, joining in. Can't even speak. I'll get my music ready to rock and roll. Let's see. What do we oh um, yeah. Don't want one that's too fast because then I just go and time to the music and we'll all just be running. Okie dokie. So I'm gonna move my chair. I've got another chair back there and hopefully we'll be able to see my feet. So we will get going. And move that back a wee bit. That should be us. Okie dokie. So we'll start off with a wee warm up. So sitting in the front front of your chair. We should really be doing this outside today because it's so sunny. Oh, okay, so just march it, swing the arms, get the legs moving. Oh, okay, we saw a tap and sit. Tap and so keep the heel off the ground. Oh, can we go away yet? The other dogs just come in, but I think she's going in through the house. No more chairs out here for her. Okay, tap to the side, so opening up the head. Remember, we don't want to twist the knee, we want to lift and open. So tap into the side. And tap behind. So make sure you're sitting far enough forward so that you can tap behind without hitting the chair or your own leg. Okay, tapping just the toes and tap the hands on the legs. Lift them, cross them, keep the toes tapping. Open the leg now. Tap the shoulders, keep the toes tapping. So cross the legs, cross the arms. So cross, cross, cross. And march, well done. So we're always keeping the legs moving, even when we're doing arm movements, we're tapping our toes or we're lifting our heels, we're doing something. Okay, take a dead heel dig. This time digging the heel into the ground. Three bicep curls, so hands to the shoulder. No, I hurt my arm the other day. I was doing some weights in the house and then I was out and I was Carrying the cat. So it wasn't the weight that hurt my arm, it was carrying the cat. And everyone's saying he's not that heavy, hurt he is. He's a fat cat. Both arms. So if I make funny faces, that's why. So I hurt my arm. I say hurt it, I think I just overused the muscle. Okay, toe tap and chest press. You can do one arm at a time or do both. <coughs> Excuse me. Back here in my throat. Tap to the side and foot. <coughs> I promise it's not the virus. <coughs> Probably one of the dogs here. Both arms out. If you can, both legs out. Now we're setting up nice and tall, engage that core. Single arm, we're going to go up. So off the arm to leg. Both arms up. You can't go up, just go to the side. If you can, both legs. Tap behind, punch in front. Punch, punch. Tap in behind, nice strong side. 
punch. Punch up. And march. Skipping arms, so skipping it forward. Remember marching the feet, always move the feet. And back to me. Keep marching, pull the open, so reaching and pulling back. Big reach, big pull. And pull it down. So reaching right up. Imagine you're pulling the rope. Pull it down. And roll up. And the other leg. Okay. We're going to do side bend. So sitting up nice and tall. Shoulders back. Feet stopping the nose. We're going to go side. And up. Other side. And up. And again. Feel the stretch on your side. And then tense it as you pull yourself back up. Okay, two on one side. Down. And up. Same side. Down. And up. Other side. One more. And march it out. Swing the arms. Okay, box step. So we're going to step waist, waist, narrow, narrow, waist, waist, narrow, narrow. So change the leg each time. So out, out, in, in. If you want, add the arms. Remember, if the arms confuse the legs, it's more important that you move your feet. Okay? Reach up. No, no, I thought she was maybe getting up there. Oh, stretching. I think she's actually watching the laptop too. Okay, both hands, both legs. One, two, three, four, four singles. One, two, three, four. Four doubles, four, three, two, one, single, four, three, two, eight, fast, go, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, okay, well done. Oh, still not that. Next. Okay, tap into the sides. You go open. So make sure you're opening that hip. And lift the arm up. You want to bend the arm so your fingertips are facing forward. So a 90 degree bend at your elbow. Both arms. Feeling the shoulders. Both legs. Singles. Tap the hand and punch. Remember, still sitting up nice and tall. We're not leaning back. We're not slouching. Marching and roll. Roll it up and in. Other way. Roll it up and in. High knees. Feel it in the hat. Three kick and punch. Yep. Try and keep the lead, the lead, the knees in line. So don't let it come higher, don't let it drop lower. Keep going. 
Our facial flow, here's the core. And last two, done. Oh, it's still more than many here. Okie dokie. We're going to start off, we're going to do our knee calf raises. So, you can either stand up behind your, oh, bye, hey. You can either stand up behind your chair and use it for balance, or you can stay seated or we can move back slightly. Just so you can see, and we're going to lift up and down. So, pushing through your big toe and your setting toe. Lifting straight up. Remember, you can do this standing up if you want. If you are standing up, remember, don't lean on the chair. It's there for balance only, so it should be fingertips only. If you are sitting and you want to do something with your arms, side hip curls as you come up and down. Ready? Pulse it, so hold it. Pulse. So just pulsing on the toes, keep the heels off the ground. So it's pulsing. And back. Oh, I was like, I don't know if you can see her, but she's right there. So it's the two warm outside for her. Okay, same again. So calf raises, either seated or standing. Let's go. Up and down. So if you are standing, it's a good one. So it's a good exercise for strength, for strengthening the calf muscle. But also it's good for balance. So if you can strengthen the muscles, it helps when you're on your tip toes to see if you are reaching up to the cupboard to get something. Having the balance where you're on your tip toes is never a bad thing. Up and pals, pals. Back. 
Take it out, pulse forwards and back. Remember, pulse from the shoulders, keeping that core nice and tight, keeping the feet moving. Oh, pulse up and down. Bernie, Bernie. Flip them, so turning the hands. Make sure you're turning it from the shoulder. Don't just flip your wrist. Turn from the shoulder. And relax, well done. Give them a good shiggle. Okay, from there, we're going to go into our set to stand. If you're standing up and you want to do squats, that's fine. Or you do set to stand, okay? So I'm going to turn sideways. So feet, knees, lips, heels under the knees. Okay, we're going to look straight ahead. Cross the hands if you can. If you do need to use your arms, that's fine. Try and just use them as little as possible because we really want to work on strengthening these leg muscles, all right? So looking up, we're going to come up, feel the chair, back down. Keep it up and down. So keep looking forward and up. You don't want to look at the floor. So if you look at the floor, that's where you're going to go. We don't want to go to the floor. So press up and look forward. So you want to push through your heels, make sure your knees don't come in. You want to keep the knees facing forwards. We don't want them facing each other. If you want to make it harder, don't actually sit down. Just tap your bottom off the chair. But make sure that it's not then pushing you forward. Okay, so we still want to be sitting back. We're just not getting that rest the same. Okay. Keep it going. You don't need to be doing it at the same speed as me. You can do your own speed as long as you're doing them. That's all that matters. And march it out. Well done. And we'll do the same again. So shuffle forward. Heels under the knees. Looking forward. And your push up. So make sure when you're stepping up, you always want to make sure the chair's behind you. So that when you do go to sit back down, you're not landing on the floor. So try and not push, try not push the chair. So when you stand up, mm -hmm. try not to push the chair back. Then that's when you're going to sit down. It's not there. You want to think about pushing through your legs and coming straight up. All right. So keep looking forward. Passing the bottom off the chair or having a repeat and then pushing yourself back up. Hold it down this time for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Give your legs a wee mark. Give them a wee shoe. Okay. Keep the feet moving for me, and we're going to move back up to our upper body. So we're switching, so we're going lower, upper, lower, upper. All right, so we're going to work these tricep muscles, the good old bingo wings. Get them all nice and tight, ready for the summer dresses. And if we get anywhere in the summer, who knows? Okay, okay, so you've got two options. You can either go from your shoulder in front, shoulder in front, okay? And when you're straightening your arm, you want to squeeze that muscle that's under your arm for 10 sets, all right? Or you can go up and down. If you are going up and down, make sure when you come down, your elbows are still facing the front, all right? Don't let the elbows come out. You need to face forward, all right? So either side to side, off we go. Try to go side and squeeze in the middle. It doesn't matter. If you can't get your hands above your head, this is the option you should be doing. Side, middle. Or you can go behind the head, squeeze it up. The most important thing is you're squeezing that muscle when you straighten your arm. Keep the elbows forward. So your elbows are always at your ears if you're doing the up and down one. So 
Don't bring your arms forward, keep the elbows at the head as you're going up and down. Keep going. You feeling it yet? I am. Oh, feeling the heat as well. Keep the toes tapping. And relax. Oh, guys, I'm a wee shake. Okay, same again. So your two options, I'll go side to side so you can maybe see a bit better. So you've got two options. Shoulder, straight, shoulder, straight, or down and up. Okay, so your two options, either side to side or down and up. Okay, ready? Keep these toes tapping. Let's go. So either side to side, squeezing the triceps in the middle, the tricep muscles. Being the good old bingo wangles that we all absolutely love. Nuts. Okay, so it's either side and up or side to side. Squeeze it at the top. Keep the elbows facing forward. Four. Three. Two. One and relax. Oh, my arms are burning today. Okay, dokie. We're going to go back onto our legs and we're going to do leg extensions. So sitting down. I'm going to turn watch your pause kind of day. Is that you need to show your floor space with the girls? Don't ever disrupt her, but that's the rule in this house. Okay, dokie. So let's hear your room in front of you. Sitting up nice and tall, again back away from that back press, we're using our tummy or not, we're not slouching. Sit up nice and tall and we're going to do eight leg raises. So off we go. Eight, seven, six, five, so squeeze that cord, that muscle at the top of the leg, above the knee when you straighten it. Other side, eight. Try and keep that leg off the ground. We're keeping tension in this leg and this muscle. So really squeeze when you get to the top. Squeeze. Eight, but slower. Eight. Slow on the way down. Seven. Six. Five. Oh, feel it burning. Three. Three, four even. Now three. Two more. Last one in the sweet up. Other side. Eight. Remember, you want to imagine you've got a rod going through your knees. So they can't change height. They have to stay the same level, but they can hinge. Really squeeze that. Four more. Eight. Last one. Oh, we match. Oh, feeling that today. Okay, same again. So let's do eight, a wee bit faster, and then we'll do four slow each side. Okay, okay. So really concentrate and squeeze it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, oh, it's burning. Other side. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Other leg. So four. Three. Two. And one. Other side, four, three, really squeeze it, two, and one. Oh, well done, be match. Okay, moving on to our abs. So, same set of, we should always be at the front of your chair. You're going to shuffle even further forward if you can. So, basically, you want to be as far forward as you can before your bum's about to fall off the chair. 
please don't fall. Okay, so you're going to lean back, but your back has not hit in the back rest. So okay, so you, when you lean back, you can feel the tension in your stomach muscles, all right? Because you start to engage, because you're not letting them lean back, you're not letting them fall or touch the back of the chair, but you're not coming up either. So you're halfway in between. All right, and we're going to lift one leg, then the other leg. So as you bring your knee in to your chest, you can feel that part of your stomach going squeeze and all the muscles squeezing to help you lift that up. So we're not, make sure you're leaning back and then coming forward. Don't sit up and just do high knees because otherwise you're just going to have really sore hips tomorrow. You might feel it a wee bit in your hips, but the idea is we want to feel it in our stomach muscles. Okay, if you can, take both legs off and do one at a time. If not, just keep doing what we were doing. We're still working the same muscles. And relax. Ooh. Keep the feet moving. Hey, lift. She's been in and out about five times. She's far too old. Isla loves the sun, but she's really needing a haircut just now, so it's not working in her favour. She wants. Okay, same again. Lean on back, one knee up, and the other side. Oh, I'm feeling that today. So you can use the chair for a wee bit of support. But make sure you're mainly feeling it in the abs. A wee bit in the hips and spine, mainly in the abs. Okay, if you can, lift the leg. We're going out and in. So open and close. You cut our tights up and down. Still not hitting the back off the back rest. And relax. Woo! Well done. Put that nice and tall. And mark. Okay, I'll come back around to the face Oh, this is so warm today. Feel the ice wall is coming on later. Nothing beats an ice wall in this one. Okay. Passing the feet and spread. Keep one hand to the shoulder and support it as you lift up. Remember, if you can't lift above your head, you can just go to the side. As long as you feel that stretch and the triceps where we were working. Reach up and the other side. Hand to the shoulder, pick it up. Keeping your feet moving. And reach out, we wave. Okay, just tap the toes on the spot, nice and easy. Bring the hands back, reaching back, or if you can, hold on to the chair, pull that chest open. Big deep breaths in and out. Okay, give it a new shake. You're going to take one foot in front. Relax the foot. Okay, so I'll turn the side so you can see. So relax the foot, hands onto the bent knee, shoulders back, and take the chest forward. So you've got to feel the stretch up the hamstring to the muscle at the top of the back of your leg. Now you lift the toe up, so pull your toe to your nose, you feel that stretch move down your calf. Oh, it's so, so warm in here. Off the other side, foot relaxed. Hands are still staying up. Relax the foot, hands onto the bent knee, and take it forward. You feel that stretch up the hamstring. You see your back's nice and flat. Lift the toe up. So your toes to your nose. Just looking out the window, and I've just spotted a clay. 
definitely love to get into that time of year. Horse flies, I hate them. Hate them. Bring up. Hey, Mark. And we turn to the face And we're going to stretch our hips. So we're going to turn onto one side. So we're on one bum sheet. And you're going to straighten towards the dog. That leg out as far as you can. If you can only get it to there, that's fine. Just start nice and tall. As long as you can feel a stretch in your hip here. Okay. Bring it to the middle. And take it to the other side. And your own side. So stretch it out as far as you can. If you can only come to there, that's fine. As long as you feel that stretch. Okay, it's your body. You know how far it can go. Take the legs in, nice and slowly, bring it to the middle. We're going to take one hand to the opposite side, other arm round. Can you lift those back? There's no wrestle on there. Take it to the middle. Other side, hand to the opposite side, other arm round. Can you look? Bring it back to the middle. Big deep breath in, reaching up. Remember, if you can't reach up, shrug your shoulders, shoulders and down. So breathing in, either reaching up or shrugging the shoulders and down. Last one. As you breathe out, hands together, feet bowing. And give yourself a round of applause. Well done. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope you've worked hard because I am absolutely I think it's a mixture of the exercises and the heat in here, to be honest. So you can let me know how you got on if you enjoyed it. All right. A bit late today. Just get, oh, come on, Timothy. It's all right. You can just start it for the beginning once we're finished. Make sure you do the full thing. Okie dokie. So I will be back tomorrow with our Keep Fit Low. So a bit more standing up exercises. Can still do it on a chair, so don't worry if you are are restricted to on a chair that's fine you can still join in um similar exercises but just we can take it a wee bit higher um for those that maybe want to and i don't know what my hair's doing here it's like it looks as if it's coming out my ears okay okay enjoy the rest of your day and enjoy the sunshine because it is beautiful take care bye